Alrighty y'all, what up? About to crack my door open here. It's currently Sunday. I'm open 12 to 3. It's the day before Canada Day, which is July 1st. As you can see, I've gotten into some of these pallets pretty good by now. Um, I'm really milking them just because if this guy offers me more again in the future, I might just pass on them. So what I have is designed to kind of be stretched with all the other crap I have. And uh, some good orders going out today, I think. This lady's coming. This was some tile that I got out of one of my last videos from that auction. Ouch. She's coming for 87 square feet of this at $5 a square foot. All of these tiles, I have like 80 or 90 feet of each, cost $30. So... I'm like, I don't know, 5Xing my money just on one sale. And I still have another like full pallet of that stuff. And then somebody else is coming, I think. They said Sunday for, I think, 45 square feet of this white glass kind of chiclet style. And uh, I think there's a bunch of people supposed to be coming for mystery boxes. I've sold so much over the last few days. I've only got two big ones. I've got no 50 or no $30 boxes. And out of the 20 I made of these, I've got five left. So I need to kind of continue on. But uh, I don't know. I haven't made a video in like over a week. I've just got no motivation to make videos, man. It's, you know, whatever. Let's get going, though. particular one you guys saw that you want me to point you to or just having a browse no, around? No, we just want to have a look. Sure. We're, built, we're building a house and they're at a point where they want us to do flooring and tile. Right, gotcha. Uh, that's not the major Facebook posts. Right. <laughs> yeah, not the best place for like the larger format. I have limited selection, but for the mosaics, it's... Uh, so for these are primarily for the washroom shower base? Shower base, backsplash, fireplace, uh, feature walls, that kind of thing, typically. Small sizes? Oh, yeah. Well, it's just for bathrooms and kitchens. So we've got about 2,000 square feet of bathrooms and kitchens. What info do you need? Uh, Bohemia, I'll know what it is. Okay. Yeah. Spark. Spark is the info I'll need for that one. Okay. How many square feet do you? How many square feet are you looking at? You have wall at 110. Hello. How are you doing? Hello. Hey, how are you doing? Good. I have no idea. <laughs> um, the, bottom, the bottom one? Okay. I need... Okay, thank you. So, here for the box? Sure. One for the small one and one for the big one? A 50 and a, a 50 and a 15? Sure. 50 and 15. Okay. Oh, right, you guys are coming for the two for the tiny one there. Yeah, sure. That one. And it's 45 square feet. Do you want to do 45 or 50? 45. 45 is perfect. Okay. Yeah, I can give you my card. It's got my email on there. Or however, you can get me a list of what you need, and then I can. Uh, it would just be a couple days to get it ready. No. Uh, Depends. I mean, some of the marble I have is, like I said, 360 and then up to like 650, 700 for like porcelain. It's about as much as a pallet holds, which is about 2,000 pounds. Perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Particular one you saw online or are you just browsing around? Um, just have a few rooms that you need some for. And okay. Jump out at us. Sure. Hey. How you doing? Hello. Hi. How you doing? Those are not accurate. I found another pallet in my warehouse, so okay. there's three or four hundred feet of okay, it. Okay, cool. Leave the bathroom. And how, so you had 75, you said? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna call you. Can I buy it and then like, can I pay for everything now? And then when you. Yep. 
bring it back. And then whenever you can bring it in. Sure. Do you know what you're needing for the knot? Yeah, so, sorry, the, the knot. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Good, you? Good. Good. So, sorry, with the knot, what would you recommend? Like, 40% oh. extra? I would say so, yeah. There's yeah. quite a bit of cutting with those. Yeah. Okay, oh. so. Oh, no. Yeah. Like, fall over? That is 20% what you, 55? Or 50. So, 50 of the knot. Yeah. You're all sorted out? Yeah. Cool. Let's connect with the mermaid. Sure. Yeah. I'll just string you up. Thank you. These are amazing prices. Oh, is this it? That's yeah. it there, oh. yeah. Okay. Okay, so I need 50 square feet of the knot. Okay. okay. Yes. That would be Whenever, awesome. oh, sorry. Let me, are you, no. you need a moment? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just jumped right in there. <laughs> um. And then I need 70 square feet of the bamboo glass we laid in. Okay. You can pay for the 70 and I'll give you everything I have here. Like okay. I said, I've got more in the warehouse, so okay. I'll restock it. Okay. Alrighty, Sunday's done. Three hours in the books, and man, we did some really good sales today. So I'll walk through them here. Um, the last lady that was here that bought, she paid for 70 square feet of this. That 70 square feet left is irrelevant. I found a whole other pallet of it. I had 75 square feet here, so I gave her 75 square feet for the price of 70. She paid six bucks. My cost on those is two bucks a foot. She also took 50 square feet of this one, which I have to get from my warehouse. So she's coming back in the next couple days. My cost, I believe $4, sell for 10. Also sold 40 square feet of this one. Um, my cost is typically 250 a foot, but this came in one of my last videos auctions. I think it was $125 for the pallet and there was about 400 feet total of like five different kinds. This was one of them. So, you know, depending if I call it the stuff that I sell for 250 or the stuff that I paid like 10 cents a foot for or whatever, um, 40 square feet of that one sold. They paid five fifty. Guy wanted it for five. I sell it for seven. I was like, ah, oh, five fifty, because I knew I had all that new stuff for cheap. Also sold twenty square feet of this one. Cost two dollars. Sell for seven. Sold twenty square feet of this one. Same thing. Um, two bucks. Sell for seven. And I think that might be it. I'm gonna sit down and just add up all the numbers so I can know what my gross profit, net profit, cost of good, blah blah blah. I'll add that up now and check it out. Okay, one more little sale that I forgot about was 45 square feet of this one, which I already had up front waiting for them. Um, cost on this one, 250, I believe, sell for seven. Okay, editor guy here from the next day. Also, the tile that was on this dolly was that one. She came and bought, uh, it was 87 square feet. She paid for 80 at $5 a foot. So that I think is the only other tile sale that I didn't mention in yesterday's sales. Uh, it's Canada Day. Happy Canada Day. <laughs> Editor guy here again. I realize now that I'm, I exported the video from iMovie, which is pretty annoying because it took 20 minutes and then I was watching it through before uploading it and I got my numbers wrong yesterday because I had an e-transfer that I have to send written down on a paper and I mistook that as my cost of goods and whatever. Um, it's so dumb. Like the last two days of the month, I'm pretty much parting ways with like almost $10,000 of various bills and payments and people and whatever. But anyways, uh, gross sales, 2,339. That was on tiles. So excluding like 117 on the boxes. Cost of goods on the tile was 657.50. So on a Sunday in three hours, I made $1,681.50 profit. You know, profit when you don't factor in the fact that this life cost me like 10 grand a month but anyways pretty good day and uh now back to whatever else i recorded and so that kind of wraps up my sunday um you know my motivation to be making videos has really been slacking lately mostly because of this amazon thing i don't have much to focus on really when it comes to like i don't know what i want to do if i want to continue getting these big bins for such a high cost I, my whole Amazon contact thing that I was on about, that I've been on about, I've got myself to a point now where I'm basically just, it's a waiting game. I have to wait for something to happen. And I don't know if it'll ever happen. I don't know if it'll happen tomorrow. I just, I don't know. 
I have nobody left to bother to get in line to get these things. But as far as I know, I'm in some kind of queue. And I don't know, the contact, I mean, I could message her. Like, the way that she came off when I first started talking to her was like, I was like, I'm this guy, this is what I do, I want to start dealing with these. And she was basically like, oh, we currently call like blah, 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 when we have to get rid of them. And so I basically became that blah, blah, blah. So I don't know if she can cancel them out and bring me in or if I have to wait until something goes on with them before I'm brought in or what. But I'm at the point where I can. I just don't know if I will. So yada, yada. Daughter's back from glamping here in about half an hour. So I'm going to go find her and do my thing. Celebrate a little bit after a great day. Oh, and all of these over two G's in sales, that's not even has anything to do with those people that were in here that are going to be putting together a gigantic sale. Man, why am I the only one who does this? Even other tile stores, they might sell this tile, but they'll just have this one thing on the wall. And, you know, their, their price might be $20, but that's because the distributor is selling it to them for 10 So they'll sell it for 20 instead of going to the distributor and being like, what do you have? What deals can we have? Blah, blah, blah. This cost me $2.50. $2.50. If I was a regular store selling it for $20, i would be a rich man. But I'm a man of the people. For the people. So let's go. we got to move kind of quick because I don't want mosquitoes getting me. Me neither. <laughs> That's <laughs> a band-aid. A what? A band-aid. A band-aid? No, a band-aid. Oh, a band-aid. Let's look at that. Pretty neat how uh, it's all the way up there. What's inside there? I don't know. Let's Okay. Oh, it's locked, boo. Oh. Maybe we could see inside still, though. There seems to be a keyhole of some kind. Me too. It's X. Right? An X? Crazy. This is cool, man. Gotta be careful coming through. <laughs> what are you, what am I, what should I point to that? Over there. Looks so pretty. Just with the light coming through? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. One broke. Yeah. A lot of them break, Bubble. There's some pretty nice ones here. Wow, some are really high up. Where? I see some all the way up there. You know these are for birds? Are they? Yeah. It are bird houses. Anybody can color on this one. I want to color on it. Ooh. I want to color on it. Can I open it? <laughs> I think it's maybe at the side. There you go. I want I can't fit in it. <laughs> Don't touch anything if you go in there, okay, Bobo? Okay. We don't want that falling in on you. Look inside. Yeah, it's pretty neat. This one? Yeah. Wow. That's like a mansion. It looks like it could go on land or on the water. Yeah. Did Very that? nice. I imagine the Tooth Fairy's house being like a little bit more posh. Yeah. I have a different one. <coughs> That's so funny. What, all those houses up there? Yeah. And how can one family up there? Yep, living on the hillside. 
Rocket girl, I can't reach the ground or rock. Oh God, this is gonna hurt my bizzack. Yeah. Okay, I gotta get up. Look, it's nothing, man. I don't know how you do that.